Hello everyone. First of all, I would like to wish you all a very happy and prosperous new year. And with these good wishes and thoughts, I would like to start with the very first lecture of mine on the basic econometrics. Here I would start with a few basic concepts and facts. So let's start with understanding the literal meaning of the word econometrics. So if we talk about the word econometrics, then we must know that the word econometrics is being derived from two Greek words, namely via, which means economy, and the other is et pop, which means measure. Thus, the literal meaning defines that econometrics is majorly concerns with the analysis and measurement of economic variables and phenomena. So as we have understood the literal meaning of econometrics, now this is here to explain that econometrics comprises of three major parts or we can say three main subjects that is economic theory, mathematical economics and statistics. All these three contribute to the field of econometrics, making it one of the highly demanded and viable field of study. As we know now that econometrics comprises of economics, mathematics and statistics, now let us move towards the scope and major functions of econometrics. So we can see that they can be segregated into main two parts where the first says that it provides the numerical values for the parameters of econ economic relationships like the demographic features of allocation or census etc. Whereas the second part says that it explains the econometrics, uh, I'm sorry, it explains the uh, or mainly concern with the verification of economic theories. Namely, if we take a few examples like the theory of uh, production, the quantity theory of money, or the law of demand, etc. Now is the time to know or get acquainted with a few facts about econometrics. To pick one, or the first one, then the f uh, it was in 1910 that uh, one of the Polish economists namely Pavel Siempa was the first known who actually used the term econometrics in the history. Further, Jan Timbergen was one of the founding fathers of econometrics. And to add one more, that is Professor, Professor Ragnar Frisch was the one who actually coined the term econometrics in the modern sense and this was based on the term biometrics. Now let us know about the views of a few renowned economists and statisticians and how uh, let us know like how they define econometrics in their own language. First of all, Professor Ragnar Frisch defined it as the mutual penetration of quantitative economic theory and statistical observation in the essence of econometrics. I'm sorry, I shall repeat it again. According to Professor Ragnar Frisch, the mutual penetration of quantitative economic theory and statistical observation is the essence of econometrics. Then Professor Oscar Lange says said that econometrics is a science which deals with the determination of statistical methods of concrete quantitative law occurring in economic life and in the word of Professor Timbergen, econometrics is the name for field of science in which mathematical and statistical research are applied in combination. So friends, now is one of the most important part 
that is here we will know or we'll get to know about a few of the real world application of econometrics the major uh, function is I have enlisted a few here as you can see this is mainly used in the field of forecasting the macroeconomic indicators like CPI GDP the unemployment of the country or we can say population etc CPI namely we know its consumer price index and GDP here what I used is for gross domestic product product now this is also used in immigration impact over the native economy or the impact of the immigration over the country it can also be used in a uh, firm's business policy in the overall market or we can say the impact or the role of any firm's personal business policy over the overall market further it can be also used to know the impact of economic policies like monetary policy fiscal policy etc it is also used in the field of forecasting the future values of economic variables like again here we can see variables like the various indices indexes like GDP census etc to know the real situation of an economy and forecasting further and further there are sev several more like calculating the impact of a firm's tax credits on the research and development expenditure etc so friends here we can conclude that we can define econometrics in very simple words that econometrics focuses upon analyzing the economic fact or phenomena referring to the modern theories and observations further it actually aims to test the hypothesis or the assumptions using the real world data in relation to the same with the purpose of forecasting future values of economic variables we actually named a few variables already and further it comprises both that is economic theory and statistical techniques or we can say methods for analyzing the economic data thus it is both science and art to name there are a few sources which I used in making this presentation friends for further detailed classes you can contact us we are one of the coaching classes in Lucknow names uh, namely AEC which is other three economic classes and as you can see we are for actually providing the classes for the following subjects and covering classes fr from class 11th 12th right um, I mean I should say right from the class 11th till the course of TD, till the PG or the post graduation course of MBA so thank you very much and kindly don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because there are several more upcoming tutorials based on econometrics and economics